sprint again today sunny day in Wales and we've got the club chairman Paul and who else have we got introduce yourself club champion Damien Bradley there we are brilliant <laughs> and last week at Gersten we saw Paul and Lloyd battling for honours this week they're in different classes but times are the times how are you both getting on today gents Brilliant. Yeah, really good. And what sort, what's your best time today, Damien? Uh, 82. And is the chairman going to reveal? What are you doing? 86, 87 is it, Paul? 81. 81. <laughs> I already knew the answer to that question before I asked. <laughs> so it's your first time at Landau, is that right, Damien? That's right, yeah. yeah and how you, novice. And how you find it? Yeah, I don't know about complete novice. <laughs> I don't think I'll agree with that. It's it's good. It's obviously a bit upsetting. Paul beating me, you know, and my, my visit across here into Wales, and I think it's, it's, you know it's not really very sportsmanly of him. I think he needs to just park it up now. That'd be great. No, it's it's a great track. Really good. I was um, I thought in all honesty, I thought it was going to be a bit Mickey Mouse, um, but yeah. it really isn't. It really isn't. It's really challenging. It's quite technical. There's so many different aspects to it. Um, Lots of pick up on tyres, as I'm sure you'll probably show on your video. Yeah. Tires, but, uh, <laughs> but no, it's 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 great, it's a great event. And lovely to be down here with the club. It's really good to be out with you guys, even yourself, Paul. <laughs> but, no, that's fantastic. But you have had quite a lot of success this season so far. Um, do you want to tell us about Brooklands? Yeah, Brooklands was great. So FTD at Brooklands, which is great, a very historic venue. Uh, one of those venues I think that we need to support, a bit like Brighton Speed Trials. It's one of the places that 
we need the entries for, otherwise these these venues are going to disappear. You know, okay. Bath and Manor is an example as well. Is, yeah. is another uh, another venue that uh, could could well disappear unless it's supported. So, um, so yeah, so uh, that was good. Gersten was probably my biggest weekend of the year. The British National Meet there to get the record there. I wanted that record for a long time. Um, and I spent two weeks rebuilding the engine for the car because the cylinder head cracked. Um, right. So I had the engine rebuilt and then I rebuilt it myself at home in the garage. So yeah, uh, that was a really challenging couple of weeks. So up the hill there um, to, we thought if we could get uh, into the low 31s, uh, we'd be really happy uh, to do a 30.6. Um, was, was pretty was fantastic. Even better, so, yeah. yeah, it was even better. So, um, yeah, so a fantastic record. Moved it on by quite a chunk, and then Stephen backed it up by the same amount the following day. Oh, so he brilliant! Did a Thirty point six nine the following day, exactly the same time that I did on the Saturday. And what are your plans for the rest of the season? Um, so we've got the uh, Tin Top Challenge that's uh, running uh, together with the British Hill Climb Championship. So we're going to be okay. doing that. So that's uh, uh, Harewood next weekend. Uh, yeah. We've got to meet at Shelsley in August and then September at Loden Park. I've got a Quick 60 event coming up, which is a cool event. Yeah. Um, so keen for the to show the club flags there because that's 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 really really cool because there's all kinds of cars there. You can go there with like, engine swaps, big aero, time yeah. attack cars there, super lats, Scotland cars, and lots of cars that aren't eligible for HSA can go to Quick 60. So it's a great. It, it's a, that's a really. And really it's cool a pretty good system as well, isn't it? That, yeah. Um, you can if you pour on one one run. You won't get through to the next. That's it. So it's like um, uh, this. You, you, uh, you qualify for the next round. Qualify for the next round. So it's uh, the old. It's quite um, a good addition to the sport, isn't it? You've got to finish first. To finish first, you've got to finish. You know. Yeah. Um, so that's that, that's good. Bit of a knockout thing. So I ran out fuel last year. <laughs> you know what I mean? For getting race suits, running. I was going to remind you of that, stuff. yeah. Yeah, so all of those things. Um, so yeah, so uh, and then the Peugeot 205, a, a Spooks Motorsport, they won. Um, took the win away in the 250 pound prize money. <laughs> so, and you're uh, hoping to take that back? I'd like to take that back, yeah. yeah. So I just remember to put petrol in, but uh, the car's been. The car's been amazing this year. We've done more adjustments, more amendments, there's more things going on with it. Uh, new Alcon brakes arrived next week, so they're oh, really great. special. Um, they're a really nice setup. Uh, yeah, and just, just keep going. But... Oh, fantastic. Yeah, that's, that's, that's great. The other event to, for both of you to keep make you aware of is the HSA event in October in Kerbera which is a double header weekend, so you've got a double lap one day, <laughs> figure of eight the next. Um, if you're not going there um, under the HSA, you could go there under the club because the club's eligible to enter that event. Yeah. Um, and so all the best for the rest of the season and have a friendly battle this afternoon with the chairman. Yeah. And we'll update on, <laughs> on who comes out on top a bit later on. We'll see, we'll see. Okay. <laughs> All right, cheers. Thank you. Bisping again with his lovely OMS. Uh, tell us about your car, Andrew. I know it's an OMS. It is. It's an OMS with a uh, one litre bike engine in it, Suzuki GSXR K8. My hesitancy is because I know nothing about bikes. Um, so it's a small engine, but slick some wings, space frame, single seater. Um, and I think the first one in 2018. Um, and on a, on a hot day like today, um, you can. <laughs> tyres heat up nicely in the sun and uh, you do get some fresh air when you're in the car um, and, it, and the grip levels go up so uh, yeah having a good day so far. Oh brilliant so this isn't the car that you won the Welsh Championship in you won that in a different car is that right? The car I won the Welsh Championship in was a standard car class uh, Renault Clio 200 Renault Sport Clio 200 
Uh, common sense would probably say there should be a few steps between the Clio and the OMS, but actually it was a direct move from that to, uh, to this. Well, that's fantastic, because you're not the only person that's won the Welsh Championship in a standard car. No, not at all. And actually, um, if anybody is watching this who's a potential newcomer, they're a great way in, because you can't do anything to the car apart from the brake pads and tyres. Um, it's a good entry-level car, and particularly in the, in the, the two-litre ones. Um, it's possible to finish in the top third overall um, of a sprint field. Yeah. In, stand, in, yeah. A, in, in a modernish standard car, so uh, no, a really good entry point. Oh, that's great. And I hear that you're putting the helmet down and putting some orange overalls on. Is it next week or the week after? Uh, the, or the orange overalls are coming out again. Well, they are actually coming out next Sunday for the Cotswold Classic Road Rally. Right, um, okay. Maybe not overalls for that. Um, but then, yes, at the Wiscombe Park National. Hill Climb Championship round at the end of July. Um, we're going to spend a couple of days uh, there. Bathroom. Oh, that's brilliant. I think it's great when drivers give something back um, and get involved in marshalling or organising. And I, I think there's, would, would you agree that there are a shortage of marshals on speed events? That there, absolutely, there absolutely can be, yes. So I was surprised that they actually had spaces in, in the most prestigious event that they have at Whiskey Park over the course of this year at the highest level. Um, yeah. Actually, it is putting something like that, but I enjoy it in a different way. I think yeah. if you're involved um, in competing and marshalling and organising various other roles, you have a much broader view of the sport, a better understanding of it, um, and it's, it's, it's more enjoyable for mixing those things together. Um, it's that sometimes people think, oh, you can either compete or marshal. Uh, not sure at all, you can mix, mix uh, many things together. Yeah, that's fantastic. Well, I know that um, you're part of the Welsh Sprint and Hill Climb Club, yep. and you compete in the club championship in the Kid Valley Tyre Championship, um, and you, in fact, scored three bonus points this year. You were one of the first, as a competitor, to score those bonus points from marshalling. Oh, okay. So it, it, can, it can benefit you um, in your championship as as well as in your personal interest. Yes, absolutely. So uh, no, it could incentive people to do that. Oh, that's that's great. So back to today, we're we're at Lando Sprint today. Um, how are you getting on today, Andrew? Um, unfortunately, in class, there's, there's only myself in the class, so there's no um, class comparisons to be made. Right. Um, across the field as a whole, I believe I'm currently sitting second overall. Oh, um, fantastic! Behind the 1300 supercharged DMS that's just down the way. Ah, oh, right, okay, yeah, no, that's brilliant, that's a great result. Yeah, I'd be happy with that if I can stay there. Yeah, and how are you doing as far as um, a PB or personal best sort of time? Are you anywhere near to your previous times here? I'm going to have to look that up when I get home because uh, ah, right. I haven't got a magic book so I can sat in the trailer with the previous times. Ah, it right. It, feel, it actually feels as if it should be quite quick. Um, and you'll remember from the track day that you organised. Um, and came back in the clear and yeah. spent many laps pounding round. So I should know the way around the circuit. Although Albeit course, it was in a very different car well, to what you did so today. Yeah. This morning, um, the, the track had suddenly shrunk. <laughs> yeah, right. The corners arrived quicker. <laughs> the braking zones were shorter, but uh, definitely at a higher speed. So yeah. yes, first practice was definitely a case of adjusting uh, back to this car. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Well, all the best this afternoon. You never know, you might uh, just pip another FTD. Well, you never know. I've got, you I've never got know. one to my credit from last season. Yeah. Um, which actually, quite nicely with the uh, the Marshalls link, was um, a BMMC event, so British Motorsport Marshalls Club event. So, oh, brilliant. So it's nice, uh, nice to actually get that within one of their events. Oh, that's fantastic. Well, thanks very much for speaking to us, and all the best this afternoon. Thanks a lot, Paul. All right, thanks. Yeah.